Hello, it's DG Stone. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be showing you guys how to make a shootable missile in Dreamcar Builder. Because you know, I think I think it's a cool little little thing you can you can actually do. It's very simple, actually. So basically, first thing you want to do, uh, just build up a small base for it to go on. Um, it it doesn't matter the. Uh, doesn't matter the dimensions, this can be on anything you want, and the entire reason that you build the base uh, is to hold on to this bar. This bar is the guts of the operation here. So, on this bar, you want to have two sliders. These sliders are equally important to the bar. This is because you're gonna put them like that, you're gonna get... Fuck, you're gonna get a frame like that. So you're gonna take this frame, chuck in two midpoints, and you are going to connect this frame to this slider using zero length frames. This this system why the fuck are they not aligned? Okay, that should be fine. And this one's gonna be going right there, I didn't do the frame. And you want to connect them to zero length frames. It doesn't matter really how far it protrudes out, but you really should have it, you really should have it as, as uh, you should really have these as close to the outside as possible. I didn't really do it here because it's not too important right now, but it's, it's going to be important later. Now, this is where the hardest part of this comes in. The fins. Now, you you kind of you kind of need to grab right on the midpoint, and that's kind of hard through there. But you just you just gotta hover over it until you see the circle. You grab it, everything's fine, and you start with the with the framing of the fence. Okay, now you gotta add panels to the frames, or the fins, obviously. Okay, so now that you have the panels added in, hopefully... I don't know what the fuck is going on. Now that you have that put in, you can just make it have any lift you want. I'm gonna just max it out, because why not? Um, and then comes the fun part of having of adding in the jet now for extra realism I'm gonna start come on grab the circle okay for added realism we flip that around and we're gonna make this a medium sized jet it doesn't I don't really know how hard that's gonna push but we'll figure it out right now Add some extra bracing so that it actually will stand upright. Once you put it on flat ground, it it gets some. It does it does the launchy thing, but it doesn't do the launchy thing because you need to make sure that it, it it doesn't try to fix itself. You gotta make sure that it's actually powerful. And next comes the tedious part of this. You gotta make sure that these break. You gotta make sure they break when they hit the edge, but not when they do like a maneuver. So kind of like that on the front, but it slowed it down too much. Hello, it is DG Stowe's personal robot slave telling you that he cut out like 20 minutes of fine tuning, and that is why there is a sudden jump ahead. Inverse. Yeah, see, it's not causing any major problems. And that just shoots off like that. Perfect.
And that is how you build a missile that is completely logical. Hello, it is me again. I am here because DG still forgot to do an outro here. If you are new, maybe try subscribing. If you are new and don't subscribe, I know who you are.